Hi friends, Starry's in her pantry, her favorite place to start cooking. Yeah, because this is where it starts. It doesn't start in the freezer with waiting for something to unthaw, waiting to pre-cook it. We're going to do a stroganoff tonight, and I want you to go into your pantry and grab your canned meat. Now, it can be venison, it can be elk, it can be bear, or, you know, if you were really a smart, frugal shopper, and you found a really great oh sale on some red meat in the store and you were smart and you canned it i want you to grab that you're only going to need one jar one pint jar uh, for this recipe uh, if you got a big family to to feed definitely grab the big quart jar and let's do some stroganoff tonight i was going to say probably in less than 10 minutes so let's get to it now for my stroganoff i keep it fresh I've got fresh cut mushrooms here, two different types of onions, red and white, and I just threw some garlic in my pan. And I will also and I will also grab see? I do the I do the jar method for my onions. Because it keeps them fresh and then I can keep growing them. I'll grab two of these. Just gotta do a lot of fresh ingredients. And I also just grabbed some of my fresh chives from the garden. Then I put them in my cast iron pan. It's been pre-seasoned for years. <laughs> and what I like to do is cook it in coconut oil. Coconut oil is the best with cast iron cooking. It really is. So look at that. Beautiful. And the great thing about cast iron cooking is it just gives your food, oh, oh, such a flavor. If you don't have cast iron, you're you're missing the boat. I've been cooking for with cast iron for what well, a long time. Probably over 40. Yeah, how old am I? 30, 30 years. It's a long time, friends. Okay, and then you're gonna saute all of those great ingredients in there and then also you're going to add a little bit of celery seasoning. I, I grow my own so I dry my own but I'm going to add that too. Now look at how fast that cooks up. That is beautiful. And then this is where your canned meat comes into play. This is so far it's been what three minutes? Three minutes. Okay we're rocking here. So I'm going to take my venison. This is 2016, yeah. And I'm going to show you real quickly. Everybody always asks me how I do my tops. I use one of these. And this is why I can reuse my tops, because I just simply give it a little tug, just like that. Sometimes you have to work it. There you go. And see how it just pops? Ooh, this is great. And then right in your cast iron pan, you're going to take your venison or canned meat, and you're just going to throw that right on in there. Just like that, friends. Ooh. I'll turn it down a little bit. Now, to get your stroganoff, what I'm going to do is add a jar of water. There you go. Just add that water. Then I add a little bit of organic bouillon, and this is better than bouillon, a vegetable base. It tastes really, really good. Uh, that's kind of a, a base layering for me when I do my stroganoff. And then you don't have to really simmer it long because this is really just a five minute recipe because everything is just <laughs> lightly sauteed, and you just throw your canned meat in there, and then. Um, sour cream. Now you can make your own sour cream friends. It's so easy. So easy. Maybe I should do a sour cream video on that. But get some sour cream, homemade or store-bought, doesn't make any difference. And yes, you're gonna do the sour cream right into your right into your pan. So hang on here. Let me let me put you down. See, isn't that beautiful? And I, you know, I uh, used to do a lot of dairy, and sour cream was really <laughs> my favorite of all the dairy. That and cream cheese. And 
There's nothing wrong with dairy. I just gave it up. But you got to have it for your beef stroganoff. I mean, beef stroganoff wouldn't be beef stroganoff unless you have sour cream. And then we're going to thicken this up a little bit. Now when you thicken it up, you can do cornstarch or arrowroot, you can, whatever thickener that you're going to use. Um, and what I do is I just take a, a, a small bowl on the side and mix it first, and then I add it to my, my, bigger, my bigger. But look at that, you could actually eat it just like that without thickening it. I mean, ooh, now there you go. Look at that. See, and within five minutes, five minutes, you got yourself a meal that can feed the whole family, and you took it out of the pantry. Pretty awesome, isn't it? And you can put it over potato, rice, noodles, and if you don't want to do the carb for the night, you can put it over, like I do shredded cabbage and with my carrots. Oh, it's so good. So be creative. Think outside the box. Five-minute pantry dish. Can't go wrong. Go can yourself some meat. And watch my videos on how to can meat. Raw pack. Easy, easy, easy. And fill up your pantry with your meat because this is better than... You know, you have a freezer, you got a thought, you got to cook it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, this really rocks. And the proof is in the pudding. And right now, it's in the pan waiting to go into Mr. Hilder's stomach.